Bill Newton Dunn, Liberal Democrat MEP for the East Midlands. Why do you think that e-cigarettes shouldn't be regulated as medicinal products? Because although I'm against people smoking, and I'm sorry for people who are hooked on it, I think that the electronic cigarette is a very good way to get off the habit. And it, I, as far as I can see, it's beneficial. It's, it doesn't need to be a medicine. It's just a very good step towards getting yourself off the dreaded weed. So I'm in favour of supporting it. I mean, these things contain a lot of nicotine. They're dangerous, aren't they? Uh, I, uh, life is dangerous. All sorts of things go wrong all the time. So I think this is a big step in the right direction. And if people who want to get off the weed want to try this, I'm, I'm for helping them. There doesn't seem to be, Labour argue at least, that there's no hard evidence that people quit smoking as a result of e-cigarettes. Would you say that there's still a, a better... Uh, solution than, than, than people smoking tobacco? Well, no, there isn't hard evidence, but the electronic cigarette is a new invention, and you, it takes a number of years before you've got the full facts. So why wait? I think that if we find it's something dreadful, we didn't know about it, OK, we'll reconsider it. But at the moment, let's help people. You just mentioned that it's a, a fairly new product. That means we don't yet know, there's no, for example, long-term studies on what the impact might be of using these things. Doesn't that raise concerns? There is a danger, but everything in life is dangerous. And as far as I can see, this is reasonably safe. And I'm for, I'm going to take the plunge and say people should be allowed to use this unless we find something terrible to the contrary. At a committee stage in the European Parliament, MEPs uh, backed uh, regulating these things as medical products. What would the impact of that be uh, for users in the East Midlands if that's followed through uh, at a full vote of the, the European Parliament? Well, it would prevent a lot of people being able to use this little thing, which you can buy at garages and all sorts of local places. You have to go to your doctor and get a prescription. It's going to stop a lot of people even trying to get off being hooked on cigarettes. So it would be a very bad step. According to the... Uh, calculations that people have done. In fact, in the UK, these still would be available in shops, but there would be uh, the cost of regulating them for the industry. Um, after all, if they're still going to be available, is it such a big, big problem? Do you really think that garage owners and tobacconists are going to have to ask for the medical prescription um, before they hand this over the counter. That's absurd. In Britain we have too many rules and health and safety and so on. Let's be sensible. Let's try this thing. It seems a step in the right direction. And just lastly, Derby County has uh, got sponsorship, the football club, uh, from an e-cigarette company and I'm told that they're handing out samples of e-cigarettes at matches isn't there a risk that uh, underage users could start uh, using these things as a result? Yes, that's, that's perfectly correct. And I hope that the people at the Ram Stadium at Pride Park do, a, do the proper thing and be sensible about this. Um, and I hope that it helps the Rams win a few matches. And just finally, the vote uh, in Strasbourg, if that comes this month or, or, or later in the autumn, what, how are you going to be voting and what do you hope happens? I'm going to be against voting against the proposal to make it medicinal. I'm going to be voting in favour of let people try this and buy it and let's see how it goes.